What's up, America? This is Kim and Neil with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to check out the Vetter Light Draw Holster. Let's, Let's get started. It. Before we get started, big shout out to David over in Vetter who hooked us up with all this good stuff. And so what do we got here, Kim? We got the Light Draw Holster and we got a double neck pouch too. There you go. And the uh, double mag pouch, by the way, is a uh, it's a, it's a uh, paddle holster or paddle holster for your uh, for your mags. So with your kit, you get a little instructional pamphlet thing. You get a cool sticker, and we have also ask for some extra attachments. There you go. Also, and I I don't understand why they did this, but they give you these actually really nice bags, which I'm going to repurpose for something because they are really nice. Um, I don't know. You could put yeah. ammo in them. I've seen people when they come to class, yeah. they'll actually put their ammo in here. Like for extra ammo to take up to the line. Or Most importantly, made, made in, in America. America. We got this one in a basket weave black, but they had a ton of other Kydex options. You can go on there. They have patterns, colors, all different sort of things. Um, we got the bat wing option for the holsters, which is one I really enjoy and prefer when I'm going to run OWB. Yeah, we'll do some close-ups, but I, I mean, the the actual clip attachment here, this belt attachment, are really robust. These are one of the best I've ever seen, and you'll see if, if you order one of these, they have a big cutout where the belt goes. So they're really robust, they're really, really thick inside here, and then they have uh, the little better logo, but most importantly, also says, made in America. But uh, this really holds your rig really tight to your body. I don't get it. I, I, to me, maybe I'm a different end user, but this style, okay, which is called the light draw, this style of holster is is my go-to, uh, and I like it because it's really convertible. Even though it, it this is the outside the waistband uh, belt uh, loops on here, you can easily make inside the or make, but you can get inside the waistband clips or loops or whatever you want for this side of the holster. Take these off, and now it's uh, an inside the waistband holster, and these. Two, these dual attachment points are my go-to. Again, I don't, I don't, we don't sell holsters, so I don't know. Maybe this is not the most popular, but for me, this is uh, this is my old standby. These are the type of holsters that I really, really go to. They also have these other loop options, and we'll get a nice close-up of these because there's actually like a nice angle to them that will help keep it closer to your body, and they're just really rigid. We're really impressed. yeah, they are a very robust construction. They're they're, they're very very uh, tight. Uh, keeps the gun very, very tight to the body, so really cool. One of the holster features that I really enjoy is uh, adjustable retention, and this one has it. The 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 fit on this uh, holster is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I, I'm gonna put this by the mic a little bit closer so you can hear this. So when we get uh, almost to where it's gonna lock into place, it I mean it is the most positive lock holster I've ever. No questions asked, and that that thing. And once that's in there, that is not ever coming out of there unless you want it to. And of course, it's adjustable. So you can just take this screw, and actually, I back this out to there's very little tension in it. I also recommend when you guys do any type of adjustments or you set your holster up the way you want it, is to use some Loctite on those screws so they don't back out over use because they tend to do that as you walk around and move around. But that retention on this thing is insane. That, that crisp it's just, it's incredible. And that is just solid in there. Another thing we noticed right off the bat, as soon as we got it, was how how they did such a good job at with the quality, with the edges, everything. I mean, it's just, it's very smooth and just amazing. Yeah, Maybe. you're gonna see some B-roll here, but the, the, I, honestly, I would, if I didn't know better, I would say that literally this is one piece of Kydex like folded over or something. This, this seam is invisible. I mean, it is literally incredible. I'd be honest with you, I don't, it's not, it's not a, a function thing for me. It's just the, the quality that someone takes the time and effort mm -hmm. to do that. I don't know how they make the holster. If it's, I, I would say it's machine cut or something. I don't know. I'm not a holster manufacturer. I don't know. But what I can tell you is that the precision and the smoothness of all the edges, that is incredible. Okay. One thing I would say about this, one of the things that's, and again, this is totally user preference for me. I don't like it that it's completely sealed. Some people do because they 
they, they, their argument is that it keeps debris out, and I get that. I like it open for any type of fluid or debris that gets in the holster because uh, the gun's muddy or dirty, or whatever the case is. So I would probably drill a hole in there myself. That's probably something I'm going to do. But again, that's nothing against better. It's just that's the preference that I have. I like an open uh, channel for debris and stuff to get out of. And the quality continues with the sweat guard and how the gun actually fits in the holster. It's It fits in there so perfectly. You can see that it's got a nice combat cut here so you can get a nice grip on it. You can get all the way up. Another thing that I like is that they don't cover the mag release so that and you can keep your gun in your holster and release your magazine so if you wanted to reload. On the outer side of the holster where the cut is, since this, this one happens to be a Gen 5, it has the slide stop on both sides. Um, so it's, it's got a contour. But also you'll see on the outside there that they, they make a, a very large ridge that comes over top so you, you don't have to worry about that uh, making contact although it wouldn't be a huge deal it's not like anything's going to happen with it in the holster if that was depressed but again they took the time to make that uh, that area there raised so really well done so now let's look at the mag pouch this is the mag draw mm -hmm. it's uh, all kydex it has adjustable retention and a nice little polymer paddle in the back yeah i gotta say one thing about this paddle the uh, there's a rubber backing on here that I don't know what the you know the rubber compound, but it's very I guess you would call it sticky. Uh, when this thing is inside, clipped on your belt, this does not move at all. I've never had this holster, I'm sorry, this this mag pouch move at all once it's actually attached to your belt. So it's uh, it's got a really nice backing on it. Additionally, there's two holes where the screws are mounted there, so that you can actually fit up to a one and three quarters belt. Um, I've you know, this is, this is uh, always going to be worn on my regular casual stuff, so my CCW stuff. So 1.5 is, is pretty much where I'm going to go there. I've uh, adjusted the retention, which is nice because it's kind of independent. A lot of times with, with uh, mag pouches, manufacturers will put a single screw in the center. And I find that you, you get one that's too tight and one's not tight enough. So having them independent like this on each side, that's a, uh, that's a really nice feature. Plus, it matches the, uh, the holster being that they're both... Uh, Doing up in, in basket weave, so that's a nice touch on this. I just showed these two magazines. This is obviously an extended 17, and then this is the 19, so you can kind of see the height is where they sit uh, within the holster itself, within the mag pouch. So. Also, you get a 30-day free trial, so if you don't like it, you can send it out back minus the shipping and get all your money back, which is really cool. They really believe in their products. You get a lifetime warranty, and of course, it's made in the USA, which is really important. Uh, one other thing worth mentioning, guys, is this holster is set up at a zero cant. That's what I prefer. But of course, uh, you can get it in there at their 10 or 15 degree if that's what you prefer. I just like the zero can, that's why it's set up this way. Let's talk about the one thing that I'm not a fan of or that I wish they had so far, because this is my favorite holster in their lineup. However, they don't yet make this holster for a light, which I don't understand why. They do, however, have the uh, Pro Draw paddle that is an outside the waistband, and then they also have the light tuck inside the waistband. My thought is, my suspicion is that those are the higher selling models because that's what people like um, and so that's why they have lights on. I have good news though. The PL Mini, which is of course one of my favorite lights right now when you attach it because it fits really nice on a nice little carry uh, size. This is the again the 19 is that they have the, the, the holsters for this. A lot of times it's just the TLR, TLR lines or the Surefire, but they actually have the O-Lite. So that tells me they're probably gonna make one for this one. Hopefully and, soon. <laughs> and David, I need one. <laughs> Let's take a look at some drawing here. I moved the holster a little around my side. I usually carry it a little bit further back, uh, but in this case, just so it's easy for you guys to see, so you can see that it has a nice positive draw on the gun. Here it is. That super nice, loud, positive click. I know that gun is in there and it's never coming out until I want it to. So outstanding retention there. And again, you can adjust it. In addition to that, of course, we also have our, our panel set up here. So if we wanted to, let's sneak that in there real quick. So this would be great for range training. Um, nice retention for both. And again, they're adjustable. So I can really get in there, run my gun, whatever I need to do. Okay, outstanding. Again, that rubber, as you can see, it 
it's moving my whole whole belt and everything around. So it, once it's once you position it where you want it to, that paddle on there is really really good. And of course, as we just seen, we can simply loosen this guy up a little bit and take that off. Now this of course are the are the belt loops which I prefer. Very very secure setup. Very very nice. I like that a lot. So outstanding. If you guys are interested in the Vetter products, we'll put a link below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. If not me, at least give it to Kim. <laughs> like, comment, share. We love hearing from you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow us here on YouTube. Click that little bell so you know we, when we put a video out. And there's going to be links. Yes, there's going to be there's links. There's going to be links. We're bringing you links for this video. <laughs> And also, uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, remember it's, always it's always better to be judged, judged by 12, 12 than carried by 6. six.